hello all uh, in this video we are going to see about introduction to sensors we will see what are the different first first we will see what are sensors and what are what are the different types of sensors and how they work and what are the principles and what is the need for sensor and why do we choose sensor and how depending upon the requirement which sensor we should use okay so in the overview we will see what are sensors detectable phenomena principle physical principles how do sensor work need for sensor choosing a sensor sensor description like temperature accelerometer light sensor magnetic field sensor ultrasonic sensor photogate sensor and carbon dioxide carbon dioxide gas sensor so first we'll start with what are sensors uh, uh, american national standard institute ansi definition for sensor is a device which provide a usable output in response to a specified measure is known as a sensor means input signal will be there and the output signal will be there uh, input signal can be anything but output can be in electrical form and this another definition is a sensor acquire a physical parameter and convert it into a signal suitable for processing like optical electrical mechanical and uh, what is a transducer uh, the example for transducer are microphone loud speaker biological sense means like microphone why microphone means like uh, you will speak in the mic and it will convert the audio signal into an electrical signal and what is loud speaker it will convert the electrical signal into an audio signal so these are the transducer like your touch phone uh when you touch something it will convert the touch into an electrical signal and it will open the application which you want to access so these are the sensors now we will see what are the different types of sensors first is the acoustic so acoustic sensor like wave spectrum wave velocity what is biological and chemical are the fluid concentration gas or liquid if there are changes in gas if there is a excess of gas then we will use biological sensors and for electric we will use uh, like uh, for charge for measuring charge for measuring voltage current electric field conductivity and permittivity and for the measurement of magnetic field or flux or permeability we use magnetic sensors and to find out the re uh, refractive index reflectivity or absorption of light we'll use optical and to find the temperature or the specific heat or the thermal conductivity we'll use thermal sensors to find the position or velocity or acceleration or how much force they have applied strain stress pressure torque we'll use mechanical sensors and the next slide we are going to see about physical principles and what are the principles for the sensors and for electricity we'll use the ampere's law an ampere's law is a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field experiences of force example galvanometer okay and the second one is curie wave law there is a transition temperature at which ferromagnetic material exhibit paramagnetic behavior and the third one is faraday's law of induction a coil resists a change in magnetic field by generating an opposing voltage current like transformer Mm, and the last one is a photoconductive effect when light strikes certain semiconductor material the resistance of the material decreases like photoresistor like photo sensors will be there okay so these are the principles and the next slide we are going to see about what is the need for sensor a sensor are omnipresent they embedded in our bodies automobiles airplanes cellular telephones radios chemical plants industrial plants and countless other application without the use of sensor there would be no automation okay uh, like means like if your body is also having sense you are having five senses like eyes uh, for seeing taste okay you hear will speak will smell so these are the sensors okay and the, you are also a uh, human being also have six senses so like in our bodies and in automobiles like if they will detect any uh, if any obstacle is in middle in the middle of the way it will apply brakes and in aeroplane if any other moving objects are there nearby it will detect in the radar 
and the cellular telephone it will check and it will tell which signal is tower which tower signal is nearby your location radios chemical plants are there chemical in chemical plants it is a very important thing to have sensors because if any opposite reaction occurs if sensors are not available then it will be a big disaster and countless other applications are there with respect to sensors and now how to choose sensors like depending like environmental factors like temperature range are there humidity effect are there corrosion size and we have to see economy factors also like cost availability and lifetime and the main important is the sensor characteristics sensitivity how much is the range and stability uh, range is used because if you are if you are uh, looking for a larger area then depending on the range of the sensor that many sensor you have to apply you have to uh, apply in the field and you have to check the repeatability means like every some distance you have to put repeaters in sensor for the better amplify of the signal and you have to check the error and the response time and the frequency res response now we'll see what is a temperature sensor temperature sensors appear in building chemical process plants engines appliance computer and many many other devices that require temperature monitoring many physical phenomena depend on temperature so we can often measure temperature indirectly by measuring pressure volume electric resistance and sustain okay so in the next slide we'll see uh, some small formula regarding to temperature sensor like there is a bimetallic strip uh, application like thermostat makes or break electrical connection with deflection if like uh, excess pressure is there then the electrical sig uh, connection will get break uh, in this on the right side you can see a uh, uh, temperature sensor how you can measure temperature sensor and the next one is accelerometer uh, accelerometer are used to measure along one axis and is insensitive to orthogonal directions like applications like vibration blast impact shock waves air, like uh, shock waves you have to measure the earthquake so you will use this accelerometer to measure the peak uh, how much is the magnitude in the earthquake and you'll also apply in the washing machine and the uh, heart rate monitors nowadays you are getting a smart watch it will check your heart rate so the accelerometer will be there to check the heartbeat okay car alarms will be there in that one if like uh, if thieves are trying to steal your car with the, sm uh, the small movement in the car's location it will give a buzz so accelerometer is used as a sensor to see the vibrations or the shock waves okay and the next one is the light sensor light sensor are used in cameras infrared detectors and ambient light application as you have seen in some of the new generation fifth generation phones you are having two types of led so first it will check the light around you and then depending upon that it will adjust the light in the camera application to get a better picture so sensor is composed of photoconductors such as photoresistor photodiode or phototransistors so light sensor are used in that way light sensor are also used in industries means like if uh, there is a no uh, no one around there automatically the equipment will get switch off Okay. and the next one is magnetic field sensor magnetic field sensor are used for power steering security and current measurement on transmission lines like hall voltage is proportional to magnetic field as you can see in the below formula that hall voltage is proportional to the magnetic field so magnetic sensor are used for power steering security and current measurement on transmission lines the next one is the ultrasonic sensor ultrasonic sensors are used for position measurement so if you want sonar is there uh, what sonar will do first it will release a wave and once the wave will go and reflect back it will check what is the distance how much is the distance at which the object is located so ultrasonic sensors are used ultrasonic uh, is also known as a radar 
as you can see in many movies in which show in the navigation or uh, radar it's like how many objects are there in nearby and how they are, are they are approaching towards or they are going in opposite direction so the, here ultrasonic sensors are used the next one is the photo gate photo gate are used in counting application like infrared transmitter and receiver at opposite end of the sensor like uh, it will give it the uh, the gate if uh, how many things are passed through it photo gate will count the application and the next one is the carbon dioxide gas sensor carbon dioxide gas sensor measure gaseous carbon dioxide level in the environment in as you can see in the many cities it will show on the led boards what is the pollution right now so using with the carbon dioxide gas sensor it will tell you uh, you can see in the right side uh, how it is uh, how it is there in the real life and in the below you can see the infrared source and the ir detector so it will detect how much carbon dioxide level so measurement carbon dioxide levels in the range of 0 to 5000 ppm and monitors how much infrared radiation is absorbed by the carbon dioxide molecule so carbon dioxide or as uh, gas sensor is the very good application for the present in the many urban areas this equipment is used to measure the carbon dioxide gas sensor so with this we uh, we can conclude our topic uh, in this video you have seen the different types of sensor and a small description regarding sensor okay if you like my video please share click like share and subscribe for more videos thanks for watching